I am here with Corey Hinton. Uh, there she Hi. is. <laughs> uh, she's one of the six strong muralists, which you might have seen a video previously about. It's an all female mural happening in Portland, Oregon. Uh, you know, being supported by Alberta Artworks, um, and uh, it's in the works. It's happening. It is gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> Excited about it. Yes. And uh, I was over here just kind of asking her some questions to do a video for Six Strong, but then I was like, but <laughs> I also want to ask you other questions. Yes. Um, and I will answer them. <laughs> well, beautiful studio, beautiful Thanks. art. Is this um, is this a brand new piece, or how, how long have you been working um, on that? It's part of a bigger series of paintings about my Peace Corps experience in Madagascar. Whoa. So I did like 10 of those last year. More than 10 maybe. And then um, I've been selling prints of them for uh, this charity that works in Madagascar. So. Oh my goodness. That's, that's beautiful. Nice. Wow. I didn't Yay. even expect that. That's yes, so, so cool. Yes, so prints are available. <laughs> where, do you, where do you cop the prints at? Do you have like an Etsy or how I do you do, do it? I have an Etsy shop. Yes. Yeah, I think it's just slash Corey Hinton. Yeah, this one was kind of, this. so this was like the kind of culminating one, the one that was at the end, and it was like, what did, I was trying to think of like what I really got from the experience, and it was like the exchanging of, I have a tattoo right here, it's like, Vipanka Tiavana means the exchanging of love, Whoa. so it's just like the noun for that word, or for that idea, and that's what this is called, and it's kind of just, that's what I got out of the experience wow, mostly, was actually was like beautiful. making real connections with so excited to work with you on Six Strong. I'm it's gonna excited be so cool. too. Mine's gonna be like all glittery. I know. <laughs> so um, I will probably flash this right now so you can see it. Um, this is Corey's uh, Six Strong concept sketch, and it has glitter in it. Lots of glitter. And this is for a, a mural panel. So you said you're a graphic. You said you're a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. So you you must have. Um, gone to some intensive schooling for that, right? You're all uh, learned. Yeah, I'm oh, learned. You're a learning type. I went type. to art school. <laughs> I did do that That's thing. That's great. Yeah. Um, started painting in high school, I guess. My uh, So the mural thing was like my parents um, were taking down this really ugly wallpaper in their kitchen. And they were like, I don't know what we're going to do. Like, we'll paint it sometime. I was like, let me paint it. A jungle. And they were like, oh, okay. So I got to paint my parents' kitchen, and then people came over and were like, this is cool, and can we get your daughter to like do this? And Whoa. So I was like doing it for like 10 bucks an hour for a while, and just then like on and off through college when I came home, and like parents' friends, and um, so it just kind of like grew organically. Yeah, and, super organic. Yeah. Wow. And I was like, hey, maybe it could be like an actual business. and do this for real and then I came to Portland and it was like there's a market for this and people actually want it and want it inside their homes which is awesome so wow that's a really cool yeah it was journey cool. into it it was always like this side thing that I just kind of did when people wanted them but then actually trying to like make it a business has been a whole new journey well mm -hmm. do you have uh, any advice for maybe up-and-coming artists I would say, uh, I guess it like depends on what kind of artist you want to be. Because um, I am okay being a commercial artist and doing stuff for other people. I really enjoy like mm -hmm. listening to people and hearing what they want and then being able to make it a reality for them and to make it actually like a physical thing. Like they just had this idea of something they wanted in their space and then it's it's real. You and that's actualize what, it. That's yeah. the power. Yeah. So that's what I like about it. And if you can do that and like be okay with not putting your whole vision and not needing it to be all about your own expression, then I would say like go for commercial art. Like if you really feel like you yeah. can let go of your own stuff. Because you can do your own stuff on your own time. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I would say. I like it. 
I love it. <laughs> it's super inspiring, honestly. And it's it's just cool. good to see a successful, independent female muralist and Yay. Yeah. Girl power. Right on. <laughs> but also you have like this distinct like I like you're saying you do all these commission work, but you still manage to to have a style, mm -hmm. I feel like. Mm -hmm. So that's encouraging too. Like I feel like you don't have to really compromise too much. Yeah. Any work you work in like a couple different spectrums too, mm -hmm. so you're super versatile, but it yeah. it feels like you either I way. Think, I think too when you have a portfolio online and that's how people are finding you, like people who wanted something like completely photorealistic are generally not gonna like hire me because yes. they've been looking through my portfolio and they're like, I like that style so I'm gonna hire. You know, so it's kind of like self filtering. That's good. Yeah. That is that is true. You're building your 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 brand, and people mm -hmm. go towards it right. because they're drawn to that. Versus, yeah, yeah. Wow, I like it. It's not for everybody, but do you ever have to like rein them in? You'd be like, yes. wait, yes. Really, <laughs> your opinion's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so ugly. <laughs> That's like the bane yeah. of the graphic designer's existence, mm -hmm. also, right? Yeah, yeah. Totally. Just like. Just having clients in general, anybody who has clients, really in any profession, I think you have to like bring them in sometimes mm -hmm. and or you do something that you think is like so weird and like so ridiculous, but then like it like means something to them and they wouldn't be asking you to yes. do something so crazy if they didn't really want it and if it didn't matter to them. So that's what feels good too, is you're like, this is not something I would ever paint because it's ridiculous. Yeah. But you like it. Yeah. And I'm happy to do that for you. Yeah. You know, so. Interesting. Yeah. Anything else you want to say or add or expand upon or? I don't think so. But if you're an artist, keep going. That's all I have to say. Just keep going. So my murals uh, website is talkingwallsmurals.com. Talking walls. <laughs> That's great. I like that. How did like, you come up with that? If walls could talk. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girls tell stories. They do. Oh, I love it. Well, thank you for um, letting me invade. Sure. Thanks for invading.